Oral contraceptive pills are the most common reversible contraception used in the United States. However, breakthrough or unpredictable bleeding is a common side effect of these pills and contributes to discontinuation. The pathophysiology of abnormal bleeding in women on OCPs is not completely clear, but may be caused in part by endometrial atrophy. The first pills developed in the United States had 150 micrograms of ethanyl estradiol. As the estrogen dose has decreased, major side effects of pills such as blood clots and nausea have decreased, but breakthrough bleeding has increased. Women are at highest risk of intermenstrual bleeding during the first three months of pill use. As such, clinicians should counsel all women about this potential side effect when beginning the pills. Smokers have more breakthrough bleeding, probably due to fluctuations in estrogen levels and absorption. Women who miss pills during the month may also have higher rates of breakthrough bleeding. Asymptomatic chlamydial infections can also contribute to higher breakthrough bleeding rates. This algorithm provides a strategy to follow when confronted with a woman who has breakthrough bleeding while on the pill. All women should have a history and physical examination, a pregnancy test, and consideration of a TSH level. Since consistent use of pills is imperative to maintain cycle control, all women should be counseled about the impact of missed pills. If a woman has not missed pills and has been on OCPs for more than three months, other treatment options can be considered. High-dose NSAIDs or supplemental estrogen may be used to control bleeding. If these interventions do not work, the clinician can think about changing to a different pill. When changing to a different pill formulation, the first consideration is estrogen dose. Sometimes, increasing from a 20 microgram to a 30 or a 35 microgram dose pill will stabilize the endometrium and stop the bleeding. The second consideration is to change to a pill that has a progestin in a different class. The clinician should avoid changing pills more than every three months. Most pills have progestins that are derived from a 19 nor testosterone. Changing from an S strain to a gonane or to a pill with drospirinone may be indicated.